Diaz, what is the state government saying about this murder? Well, Vishnu, very shocking incident. What the state government has reacted so far is that the chief minister of Maharashtra has given a statement in Kolhapur announcing a reward of 10 lakh rupees to any information relating uh, to the informants as far as the killers are concerned. The Pune police also has simultaneously declared an uh, award of uh, uh, 10 lakh rupees for any, 1 lakh rupees for anyone providing information. But as far as this case is concerned, there's a lot of shock and anger among the people in Maharashtra because Dr. Narendra Dabolkar has been fighting against superstition for many years now. I have with me his nephew, Mr. Prasanna Dabolkar. Sir, how would you react to this daylight killing of Mr. Narendra Dabolkar, who has been fighting for almost 20, 25 years against this practice? I think it is one of the most brutal act which has happened in India since independence because someone has been deliberately and in cold blooded killed because of his thoughts and not for any deed or any harm he did to society. So there was always a lot of uh, protest, there was always a lot of uh, opposition to his uh, thoughts. Did he at any point of time inform that he could be uh, a victim of this attack? Uh, he had been receiving attacks, anonymous calls. So he knew that it is likely that he will be physically harmed. But, uh, or even fact, there will be an attempt on his life. But we never really thought that any man in Maharashtra could go to such an extent and it is really a tremendous shock as his close relative I am shocked but I think it's true every thinking Indian who might belong to any religious or political thought that if you go on killing someone because uh, he has expressed certain thoughts then there is no end to it Sir, he was trying his best for many years now to bring a bill in the assembly yeah. against the superstition, but he never got the support of the political parties. Unfortunately, political parties don't take stand on what is good for society or what is good for the state. They are politicians, they are not statesmen. Sir, uh, he had expressed his desire to donate his body now that the postmortem has been performed. Where and how the last rites will be performed? Uh, in fact, in our family, it is tradition that we donate our body after death. My father, in fact, my grandmother, all the bodies were donated. But in this case, we are informed that as post-mortem was confirmed, the body will be of no use to the medical students. So his uh, last fight will take place at Satara, and they will be without any religious uh, ceremony. Only cremation will take place. Sir, uh, as a family member, do you have any clue as to who could be behind this uh, uh, act? Any organization, particular organization you think could be behind it? Uh, it is difficult to name any organization, but those who are against this thought, someone from them must have done this. So here he we have Mr. Pra Prasanna Dabholkar, nephew of Dr. Narendra Dabholkar. And as I said, there's a lot of anger among the people, not only in Pune, but what we are learning is that Satara is close. Satara was his hometown. Now, after his body will be brought here at Shukravar Pet, it will be kept here for people to pay the last respects, after which the body will be taken to Satara and the last rites will be performed there. Vishnu? All right, Imtiaz, we leave it there. Thanks very much for joining us with those details.